when when I was still in Tarpon Springs working as a volunteer firefighter there, we were there was a kids clothing manufacturer. We were all inside and three ammonia tanks exploded and, and I just I knew I just knew we were not going to get out of there. But at that time God had different plans. Uh, he had a long term plan for me. I just didn't know it at the time. And uh, and we, we all and I and I managed to get my guys and we all ended up getting out of there and that was a wonderful thing in itself. Uh, and there's still to this day a lot of I have a lot of pictures and a lot of wonderful memories of people I worked with and, and, and good things we were able to do. Greg Marty moved to Florida in 1969. He got married and started a family. He left public safety in the early 80s after 18 years of service and started a business with his wife. Life was good. So we had started that. I had a guy come in that, that had a, a good business plan and we told him we'd work with him and, and we would do what we could do. And so we started that business. Uh, he was unable to get licensing. So I had the prof I carried all the professional licenses, but we didn't know it, but the money that was going into the business was going into his pocket and the business got into big financial trouble. And it was, and, and, and my, it was my fault for not watching the shop close enough. But the next thing we know, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement was in the office and I was arrested. And for an ex-cop and an ex-firefighter and a guy that never dreamed he'd be there, I ended up in prison. Marty was sentenced to eight and a half years in prison. He ended up in Largo, Florida and got lucky with work detail by being taken off compound to pick up trash along the beach. Well, one morning the guard came in and said, Marty, you're not going out today. I said, why? He said, well, you're going over to the central unit, probably for physical, just to see the doctor. He said, but you know, we know you, it's not any kind of a problem. I said, okay. They took me into this little room in the isolation section and there was a guy sitting there with a tie on and he dialed the telephone and handed it to me. And I said, hello, and it was my wife. And she was calling to tell me our oldest son had just been killed the day before in an accident. And I was allowed to talk to her for 15 minutes. And then they shackled me back up, took me back, threw me back in the room. But here's where God can give you strength when nobody else can. When I laid down in the bunk and I looked up, the first thing, the first thing out of my mouth was, Lord, I said, I know all things are yours. And I also had the peace to know that I'd see him again. And at that point, after I said that, I had total peace. He'd spend another two and a half years in prison, but they wouldn't be years wasted. He used his time to earn a doctor of theology and helped mentor the other inmates around him, something he would continue after his release. You know, God wastes nothing. I could have been a waste, but he used me in a mighty way. And a lot of the guys in there just don't find him or can't find him, or when he does open the door, they don't walk through it. And one of the biggest doors that opens is Russo Ministry. That's a huge door. That is, that is such a place for the people who, who receive the information and apply. That door is open for them, and we have seen some, some terrific wonderful stories come out of that ministry, success stories of people who have had that chance to grow. See, I was blessed. I had a home to come back to. I had a wife and a, and, and a family to come back to. A lot of these guys don't. So Russo Prison Ministry becomes their family. And it is a wonderful family because they can share. It is very God-centered. So they can learn God. They can learn the walk just like I did and it just opens tremendous doors for them to be able to walk through. I never dreamed I'd end up in prison. Never dreamed I'd end up there. But I did. But I still have the same heart for Jim Russo ministry as I had back then and I always will.